All right, I'm in Gaul now. Thanks to Munir, he gave me a quick tour around uh, before I take an actual walk. So this is the tower in Gaul. What I'll be doing now is going around the old fort. So I told you guys that, you know, everything looks very British right now. Everything will turn into Dutch. And that's what I'll be focusing on right now. Uh, there's a lot of Dutch architecture, uh, Dutch colonial remains. So I'll focus on that and let's see what I can get. I'm really looking forward to this walk. So that wall gate right there, that's uh, overlooking the Gaul Cricket Stadium. So I think there's a match going on right now. That's why everyone is there and looking at the actual match. I have no idea what's Bismarck Bastion, but let's just check out. As long as no one is stopping us. So Sebastian. Let's check the view. Well, it's a nice way to target enemies. This library was built in 1832 when I was born. I'm going to walk down this lane. Not just because it's beautiful but also the time right now is almost three and it's extremely sunny, extremely hot. So, there's a lot of good shade in it. I like how it's an old colonial heritage site and still this has been turned into both a tourist place and also at the same time a place to live in. So there are schools right here but at the same time on the opposite of the school there's a hotel. So I like how they've turned their old past into something that's more profitable and still livable. These are the old Dutch houses, also the ones here and throughout this entire lane. People still live here. It's like small shops all around, very much a walkable lanes. But it all reminds me a lot about Hoi An in Vietnam. So Hoi An is more French. Uh, with a mixture of Chinese heritage in it but this is entirely Dutch with a mixture of Sri Lankan vibe in it there are shops all around there are sites here and there and just on the left there's the actual sea I think it's a very good place for the locals to chill basically so right up there is the actual Dutch fort so I'll go down there and check out the place I hope I can get up sorry the Dutch lighthouse so that's the lighthouse this built in 1938 and it's still active uh, just got upgrades with right beside the lighthouse is an actual site where you can see the entire sea so let's take a view. Right. So Sri Lanka is surrounded by sea, but somehow every single time there's a little bit of variety. Uh, over in Mary's site was more of a traditional. Sorry, that was a spider. So over in Mary's side there was more of a traditional beach, but it was beautiful because there were rocks in between and now we're along the Dutch fort in Gaul and the human structure that was made uh, 100-200 years ago I think that makes the, all the difference in the world but even still there are rocks on the other side and then there are ships coming into probably going into Colombo it's very nice I hope it just wasn't this hot and warm Alright, I'm walking down 
uh, Lane Bend Street. It's a lot of jewelry out here, made out of silver mostly. So I'll just uh, walk and I found a small place to have dumplings and coffee. So I'll have that. I think that will freshen me up a bit and then I'll walk a bit more before I ultimately head out. Look how much I'm sweating. So that's pretty much it from Gaul. What I'll be doing is now uh, getting back to my stay in Polhena Beach, uh, spend the night there and tomorrow morning I'll have to go to Colombo for the first time before I leave Sri Lanka. And this honestly has been a much better day. Uh, yesterday I did not do anything at all. Uh, I only had to travel for six hours and uh, ended up in the hotel while it was raining. So I couldn't even go out, uh, didn't have dinner. Of course, I wasn't feeling well about uh, not socializing. So I was getting a bit homesick. Uh, I think fortunately that's gone right now. I look forward to the rest of the day. And yeah, I look forward to what Sidonka can throw at me for the next 48 hours. So that's it. Goodbye from Gaul. Goodbye from Mirissa and the beach areas. Thank you. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.